Well, good Tuesday morning. Pastor Hayton here at the Lord of Lights devotional. Seated here under an old tin roof of an old-fashioned camp meeting tabernacle down in Sumter County, Alabama, located just outside a little village called Cuba, Alabama. It's a beautiful tract of land which has been the home of the Southern Annual Camp Meeting now for over a hundred years. And I'm privileged to be back to camp meeting again this year and sitting under the tabernacle to spend my few minutes with you today. I was thinking as I was uh, planning my devotional that uh, I have found here at the camp meeting grounds a place of peace. Now there's not a lot of peace in the world today. Seem like that uh, there's just turmoil and strife on every hand. There is so much unrest in the world today that uh, it's just uh, really hard pressed to find peace. But I'm glad that there is the peace that God gives. And I'm glad that I sit here in a place today where I believe there's a little bit of heaven on earth because of the peace that we can feel. Now peace is not something that God just showers down from above. It's not an object. It's not something that we can claim any particular uh, properties to. To me, peace is nothing but an absence. If there is an absence of turmoil, there's peace. If there is an absence of strife, it's peace. If there is an a, a absence of unrest, that's peace. And I can say, today we just have a hard time finding peace in the world because there seems to be so much turmoil and strife, not only in our nation, but in our lives and in our families. We often find things that just kind of keep things in an uproar. We find that there's a lot of political unrest in today's world, and a lot of people are concerned about the future of our nation, and, and we're not feeling at peace over the way things are going in our beloved nation today. Seem like that oftentimes uh, we find that there is a, a total, uh, not just turmoil, but there's strife. Anytime there is strife, even between two people, that is not peace. And so if there's going to be real peace, that has to come from the Prince of Peace as he comes into our life and he calms the storms. He comes into our life and he gives us the resolution to the strife that we experience. He comes into our life and He gives us the rest that we need. And so I know today that uh, peace is not something that's going to be added to our life. It's going to come as there are some subtractions to our life. How often we find that all that we need is a subtraction. We don't really need an addition. We just need a subtraction. And if we can just find the subtraction of turmoil, we can find and subtract from our life strife. If we can find rest in our heart, then there is no unrest. And I know today that by looking to Jesus Christ, He can speak peace in the midst of the storms of life. He can speak the words, peace be still, doing away with the unrest, the turmoil, and the strife. And that gives us a wonderful peace. Now if you were to ask me all the benefits of being a Christian, of course, we always think of the benefit of having the assurance of a heavenly home. And that's certainly a great blessing and a great benefit. But if it weren't even for the prospect of a heavenly home, if all that I had by serving Christ was peace, it would be worth it. So I'm glad there's a deep, settled peace in my heart today. I'm so thankful that I'm not going through a time of real turmoil, that I'm not striving with anyone, I'm so glad that I can trust the future, not only the future, but the now. I can trust it with the Lord. And when our uh, trust is in Him, then we know that there's going to be peace. So thank God that He gives us the peace that we need in our life by helping us to do away with the turmoil and the strife and trusting Him for whatever it is that we're dealing with. We don't have to be at unrest today. We can have peace in our heart. Heavenly Father, thank you for the peace that God gives. And we know it's not something that thou dost add to our life, but by subtracting things from our life, we find peace. So may we be able, Lord, to get away from the turmoil. May we see strife to cease. And may we trust God that there will be no unrest in our heart. Now bless us throughout this day. 
is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I plan to see you tomorrow here on the Lord Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.